Hello mortals, I am Charlie. In this video you will learn how to do 3 different kicks from Taekwondo. As always, Panda will be the one to show off. Before you can start learning how to kick, you need to know how to balance properly. While I would say it's some cool martial arts trick passed down from generation to generation, it's unfortunately something pretty basic that only boils down to three rules. Rule 1, find and stare at something that doesn't move. This can be anything so long it doesn't move. Rule 2, keep your head up, where your head goes the body follows. If you lean too far to one side or the other, you will start to lean to that side, even if you don't mean to. Rule 3, control your breathing, doing it too fast or hard is rarely ever good for you. It becomes much more obvious when you do something like balancing. Remember the more you practice, the better you will get. Don't feel down if you have trouble with this. It's hard for Panda too. Front Kick Almost every kick has three parts to them, chamber, kick, and recoil. Start by lifting a knee up to hip level. This is the front kick chamber, next do this. This is Sparta! Lastly recoil, when you do this don't drop your knee instead try to keep it up the entire time. When you kick, you are kicking with the sole of your foot with toes pointed up. For practice, do what's called the three count front kick. One being the chamber, two the kick and recoil, lastly three being the put down. For some basic but extremely useful exercise, walk around by pumping your knees up. This forces you to use muscles that you normally don't use. A common mistake is not chambering the kick, or the opposite and not recoiling the kick. Remember a good kick has a chamber, kick, and recoil. Turning the foot. Before you attempt to learn the other kicks, it's important you understand this section to avoid injury. With that being said, from here on out almost every kick you'll learn will require you to turn your foot. You will pivot on your supporting foot to turn it back as you do these next two kicks. It's extremely important that you turn your foot back. Reason 1, you risk injury. Reason 2, it helps generate power for certain kicks like the round kick. Reason 3, it will help to make the other kicks easier to do. Round kick. Instead of bringing your knees up, you will turn your supporting foot back and pull your kicking foot back and point with your knee keeping it higher than your hips. This is the round kick chamber also known as bow and arrow. When you do the round kick, remember to hit with the top of your foot and to point your toes. For practice do what's called 3 count round. Chamber, remember to turn your supporting foot. Kick and recoil, hit with the top of your foot with toes pointed, put down. A simple exercise you can do is literally kicking your own butt as you see here, and a mistake everyone does is not kicking through. With the round kick you want to kick 2 feet past your target, not at it. Oh, this is also a good time to mention to use a wall to help keep balance as you do these kicks. Side kick. Like the last two start with the chamber, turn your supporting foot back and tuck your kicking knee into your chest, turning everything to the side to the best of your abilities. When you kick with the side kick you're kicking with the sole of your foot but instead of toes point up, it's sideways. For this count kick, instead of three it's a four count. Chamber. Remember to turn everything to the side with your leg tucked in. Kick and stick. Try to keep everything on one line and stick the kick. Recoil. Back to the chamber. Put down. A major mistake that everyone does is kicking without sticking the side kick. Remember to stick it. One major thing that I forgot to add back in. Keep your hands up to protect the baby. Oh. I get it now. Protect the baby. 